Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you more tips and tricks with the Macara Carver. It's an amazing, easy to use, quiet desktop CNC milling machine with a billion laser engraver that I've been having a lot of fun with. And no, this isn't sponsored and I have no business relationship with them. I just think it's a really good product. I've been having a lot of fun with it the last few months. Let me show you one of the projects I've been using it for. Okay, so this is an ordinary six pin sledge lock. If you're American, probably you've got at least one of these keys on your key ring. I'm going to show you a little trick you might be familiar with and then put a little spin on it with the fourth axis of the Carrera. As many of you know, you can copy a key from a photograph. What some of you might not be aware of is many flexure forms can shoot good in a 4K video that you can copy the key as someone uses it. Watch! Okay, so pulling the code off a photo or video is definitely hard mode and something I wanted to show first. If you have physical access to the key, you can also quickly press it onto the putty. For measuring later, make sure you account for shrinkage or measure it directly with a pair of calibers. If you go the caliber route, these two can quickly give you the keyway profile. If you don't have physical access to the key and aren't in a position to capture it on photo or video, but can access the lock itself, using a two-in-one decoder pick is an option. Those of you who watch Deviant Olars or Lock Picking Lawyers YouTube channel are already very familiar with this tool. It was invented by a master locksmith here in China by the name of Li Zhiqing Shifu. He's from Hebei, which is up in the north near Beijing, and it's been a real game changer. While Schlage locks like this and Wixack are the most common home locks in the US and not very secure. Li Shi decoder picks are available for a huge variety of locks, some of which are normally quite challenging to pick. Let me show you how it works. Okay, this lever folds out to tension the lock. This is the pegging arm. When I push down on it, the other end lifts the pins up and then the pointer shows us what position the pin is in, what the code of what pin height is that's why Mr. Lee's invention is both a pick and a decoder. It opens the lock and it gives you the numbers to make a key. 
pretty remarkable. Let's give it a try. All right, let's insert our tool into the key lock. Okay, let's try number one first, apply some attention. You hit a click. Make sure it clicks. Okay. Number two, nothing. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Right. Now, obviously, knowing the code for this particular lock is cheating, but I didn't know the pecking order and there are plenty of demos of Li Shi pecks in action for you to verify. It really is this fast and easy. What's important is we have multiple ways of getting the code we need in order to make our own key. Not all locksmiths will cut keys to code, and we often don't want to leave that trail, so let's make our own key. Pretty typical way is with this little nibbling tool that Mr. Li Shi sells. It will take precise little bites out of a key blank until the profile matches our code. a little time but it works well it works if your hands are strong enough to squeeze the handles and use it which my aren't so i'm going to have to do something else this is an online web app that converts key codes to stl files for a few popular brands of keys there also are a few scripts out there to assist with this i'll put the links in the description box I'm 3D printing it without supports in ordinary PLA. No special printers or filament needed. Although high security keys with more intricate detail will require a resin printer. As you can see, 3D printing makes a usable key, but you can only use it a few times. And there's always risk of it breaking off in a lock. So let's try something a little different. I'm using Desproto to generate the NC file. I'm using the Chinese version here. So we'll save the step-by-step -step walkthrough for another time. You can also use Fusion 360 or most other CAM programs, but I find Desproto to be the most user-friendly and have put their link in the description box.
Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Voila. The thing that makes the cup very so special is that I can cut a very complex object like this little key out of wood, plastic, aluminum, or brass in a single operation. While I love my huge style X5 combo mill for cutting steel and larger projects, having to change tools multiple times and manually find all the precisions before I run an NC program makes it much, much more difficult and time consuming to use. The Carvever automatically determines the tool length and finds all the relevant points on its own. That's a very big deal. While I do recommend the Cup Rarer because of ease of use, functionality, quality, and price, there is one huge caveat, the manufacturer. McCarver is a new company with no established track record. A lot of people get angry about established companies doing Kickstarters, but with established companies comes a much better livelihood of on-time delivery. I think Makara can deliver, or I wouldn't vouch for the product. But I have no business relationship with them and have no influence over the delivery schedule. So please keep that in mind. I'll have a full review of the Carrera coming out in the next week or so. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover and what questions you have in the comments. That's it for today. Please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. I do fewer build videos these days because they don't get as much traffic as product reviews so are hard to pay for. If you like my build videos and want me to do more, please repost and share them with your friends. Those ad views will help fund those projects. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.